not only do I just do like muscular stuff for people, making them stronger, but I wanted to give you guys something that you could go use with all of your students right now, whether they're tongue tied or not. Um, and I will warn you that they are very weird. <laughs> they are very weird, but they sure work. So um, the first one that we're going to do, oh, excuse me, what you will need. This is so incredibly important. You need a mirror. You need a mirror. Dear God, if I can do anything for you, just please use a mirror and please get your students to do it too. Because the amount of things that people don't realize they're doing, and then I make them watch themselves and they go, oh my God. I mean, it happens constantly. So you'll need a mirror and you'll probably need a flashlight because we are going to literally peel your lips aside and like stare in there and look at some of these things. So uh, feel free to follow along with this if you would like. My rules are always work easier to harder. Um, if we're talking about mobility, just like going to the gym, you do not go pick up the 50 pound dumbbell unless you're not terribly smart. Always go easy to harder. Slower is faster. And I always work silent mobility to complex voice like arpeggios. I do a lot of single pitch stuff because we as vocalists, when we do things silently versus when we add pitch to it, a lot changes. So I really recommend that you do all of these muscular positions silent first because people will automatically always start doing all the other kinds of stuff with pitch behind it. So. The first one, this is the big hitter, tongue posture sirens. Now, what is tongue posture? <laughs> so just like body posture, I'm sure you can all give me an example of what really bad body posture is, right? Limp, low, weak, right? So we actually have this with our tongue as well. So um, I want to just take a second to freeze everything that you're doing. Don't move, freeze and type in the chat where your tongue is because your tongue should be not like this. Your tongue should be like this on the roof of your mouth. And there's a million reasons why that I don't have, I don't have time to go into it, but the short answer is gravity. You can look that up later. But if your tongue is not on the roof of your mouth, it's going to cause a lot of issues here. So I'm going to teach you all correct tongue posture, which will change your life, definitely your sleep. And then we're going to go back and do this. So tongue posture is not low in the mouth, but when this whole portion of the tongue rests against your hard palate. It may also touch your soft palate too, depending on your mouth shape. That's okay. The only thing that we want is that we do not want any air pockets on the roof of the mouth at all. So your tongue, just like, this is my assistant, Henry, just like Henry should be filling up this entire portion of your upper arch. And guess what? You guys actually already know this position because we just did it and it looks like this. Does that look familiar to you? So instead of doing your click, if you close your teeth back, that's where your correct tongue posture should be. Um, so let's go back for a second. I'm going to show you um, my other slide once again this one okay now <clears throat> tongue posture sirens we don't need to hear me sing this it's not important so when you're sitting in your tongue posture you shouldn't be suctioning as hard as in that cave that we just did it should be super super loose so not hard like this but nice and loose and you should be able to touch that with a finger and have it move now you should be able to do a nice gentle siren through at least 80% of your range with this soft tongue without the tongue pulling downwards. So this exercise is really, uh, it shows a lot of flaws very quickly. It shows when students 
um, overblow too much air, where they inhale too much air, when they depress the tongue on inhale, when they depress the tongue on exhale, if they don't move into their correct um, nasal resonances. And it also shows that if between in their transitions, if their tongue is nice and high in their middle voice, but then it descends for their high voice. So again, I'll show you with sound. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me, but we'll try it. You should be able to, nice and soft. And I want you to notice that my lingus goes up and down, which is fine. It's nice and relaxed, but that this isn't moving. Yeah, so I recommend that you start with this for everybody because it really eliminates a lot of that extraneous tongue movement that's really hard for us to be aware of, but that has a really big effect on things like muscle tone dysphonia and that kind of thing.